please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for our prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You may be seated. At our school, we are building the body of Christ one student at a time. Please join me in reciting our mission statement. The mission of Corpus Christi Catholic School is to nurture every child by providing opportunities to grow in faith, achieve academic success, and serve others as disciples of Jesus. And now from Studio One in the Arts and Science Wing, the award-winning CCN Corpus Christi News Program. Good morning, Corpus Christi. I'm Jay. And I'm Lucy. Today is Friday, May 10th, and we would both like to welcome you to this morning's 8th grade edition of the award-winning Corpus Christi News Program. We would also like to welcome all of the parents who are here for the last walk-in of this school year. As a matter of fact, Lucy, we're probably going to be talking a lot about last things this morning, since this will be our last CCN of our final 8th grade year here at Corpus. You know, Jay, it's hard to believe that some of us have been coming to Corpus Christi since we were infants over in the daycare. That's like a whole lifetime for some of us. And then others in our class have joined us along the way. But what's interesting is that no matter how long we've been here, we're all pretty much ready to be out. And I mean that in a good way. It's the truth, Lucy. While we have made awesome friends and had some amazing experiences at Corpus Christi, we all feel that it's time to go out and move and experience all new things that high school has to offer. And you know what else we want to experience is a great weather forecast for this weekend. Let's check in with Anna to see if Mother Nature is going to cooperate. Thanks, Lucy. We haven't quite seen the last of spring, so the temperatures are still pretty moderate, and the pollen levels are finally down to tolerable levels. So all we really need for a great weekend is sunshine. Will we see mostly sunny skies this weekend? Let's talk about our current local conditions first, and then see what lies ahead. The low temperature last night in Mobile was 68 degrees. Today's high will reach up into the 80s. Currently, our temperature is 71 degrees Fahrenheit. Looking at our Doppler radar, there are a few scattered clouds lingering in our area, but nothing that should bring us any significant amounts of rain. For a check of our weekend forecast, with highs in the mid-80s and lows around 66 degrees, our sky should remain mostly sunny through Monday. In capital cities around our nation, Springfield, Illinois, will get up to around 68 degrees and the temperatures tonight will be in the 50s. In Jefferson City, Missouri, the high temperature will be around 71 degrees and the low tonight will be 55 degrees. Today, Little Rock, Arkansas, will reach a high of 85 degrees and a low tonight of 65. Now we join Lucy back at the anchor desk with announcements and any urgent breaking news. Looking ahead, don't forget that this coming Sunday is Mother's Day. We have the tour band concert here at 1030 in the gym on Tuesday. On Wednesday, third grade is going to Five Rivers, and the talent show dress rehearsal is on Wednesday as well. Thursday, we can dress up like the 60s to honor the 60th anniversary of Corpus Christi Parish. Next Friday is the talent show, and exams begin for eighth graders. Now we, get, now we go to Jay for some astounding moments in history. Today in history, on this day in 1752, Benjamin Franklin tested the first lightning rod. In 1775, the Second Continental Congress convened in Pennsylvania and issued paper money for the first time. The, 
The first naval ship, named the United States, was launched in 1757. Mother's Day was, was first observed on this day in 1908, and on this day in 1969, the crew on the spaceship Apollo 10 transmitted the first ever colored pictures of the Earth from space. Next up, we join Justin with his prayer for words of daily devotion. The people you hang out with and the things you talk about is the food you are putting in your mind. If you put garbage in, garbage will come out. So if you take part in gossiping about others, if you watch junk on TV, if you go to internet sites that you know you shouldn't visit, the attitudes and actions you pick up will eventually show up in your life. That's because you get used to them and they don't seem so bad. If you want your life to be like Christ's life, then fill your mind with things that are like Him. Read books or watch programs that have good messages. Spend time with people who model kindness and love. Put good stuff in and good stuff will come out in the way you live. The Bible verse for the month of May is taken from the book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verse 6. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make your path straight. Now let's return to the anchor desk for our very last sign-off. Hey Cougars, I'm Thomas reporting to you live at the CCN Sports Desk. This week has been a busy one in the world of sports, with Tiger Woods receiving the Medal of Freedom from President Trump. I'm sure we all heard about the cheating claim at the Kentucky Derby, where a horse was disqualified for going into another horse's lane. Also this week, in the NBA, we have the playoffs. The Golden State Warriors lost to the Houston Rockets on Monday. In local sports, McGill Tulin's varsity boys soccer team is going to the state championship, as is their baseball team. Breaking news just crossed my desk. In the NBA, the Milwaukee Bucks defeated the Boston Celtics to the win to win the series 4 to 1 and advance to the Eastern Conference Finals. That's all the news I have for today. Well, that's all the news we have for today and for the last CCN of our 8th grade year. I'm Jay. I'm Anna. I'm Joey. I'm Justin. <laughs> I'm Lizzie. I'm Thomas. I'm Connor. And I'm Lucy. I'd like to leave you with this question. Did you know that Tiger Woods' real first name is Eldrick? Have a fantastic Friday. Yep. <laughs> wow. Man. I knew that. What are y'all's favorite memories from Corpus? Um, I'm EC, and my favorite memory is probably all the field trips and stuff. My name's Hannah, and my favorite memory is probably the water balloon pie and the whipped cream pie. My name's Lindsay, and my favorite memory is probably in sixth grade when we did the lab with all the skills. We got to eat a little. <laughs> my name's Mallory, and my favorite memory was the rocket launch. So, what's your name? My name's Aiden. Colin. What was your favorite grade at Corpus? Um, probably kindergarten because I really enjoyed nap time. It was very fun. <laughs> what about um, you, Colin? Seventh grade. Why? It's because. <laughs> Sailor, how long have you been at Corpus? Since kindergarten. How your most embarrassing moment? I was walking up for my first time and I fell right in front of the police. Millie, how long have you been at Corpus and what's your most embarrassing moment? I've been here since kindergarten and my most embarrassing moment is when I was an angel in the nativity scene and I fell down and sat on the plane train. Emily, how long have you been here and what's your most embarrassing moment? I've been here since first grade and my most embarrassing moment was I was in, standing in front of my crush that I had and I fell down. Michaela, how long have you been here and what's your most embarrassing moment? I've been here since sixth grade and my most embarrassing moment is whenever I fell at lunch. 
Nobody else saw it except for three people. And, yes. Thank you. Another turning point, a fork stuck in the road Time grabs you by the wrist, directs you where to go So make the best of this test and don't ask why It's not a question but a lesson learned in time It's something unpredictable, but in the end is right I hope you had the time of your life So take the photographs and still frames in your mind Hanging on a shelf in good health and good time Tattoos and memories and dead skin on trial For what it's worth, it was worth all the while It's something unpredictable, but in the end is right I hope you had the time of your life I don't know who to pass it to. Right. This is Jay, and this is awful footage. Hey, cougars. Can you? Oh, wait, I said the wrong line. <laughs> I, I'm so used to. I don't know how to say that. How do you say that? How do you say that? My team. My team's called? Okay. We have the last Friday, you won't be here. So after Easter, we only have three weeks, and we'll, I'm not sure we'll be able to take that first week. So they're only going to be two weeks after Easter. In 1775, the second constitution. Wait, <laughs> I say constitution and it's continental.